Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you change the settings in the Color Dynamics section of the brush panel, you are changing how the color of the paint will vary over the course of a brush stroke. To view these settings, click the Color Dynamics button at the left side of the brushes panel. Give that a click. You can either type a percentage or use the slider to set the background foreground jitter, right here and this determines the amount of variance between the two selected colors, your background and your foreground. You can also, of course, use the control drop-down to select how you wish to determine the way the colors will vary. We've seen that before. You can also set the hue jitter, the slider right here, to determine how much the hue of the color will change based on the foreground color selected. The lower the percentage, the closer to the original hue the variance will be. The higher the number, the more variance in color will appear from the selected foreground color. So we'll, we'll bring that up to 50%. Again, you can use the slider or the text box and type a value. You can also use the saturation jitter, located just below that, and the brightness jitter to determine the amount of variance that will occur in the saturation and brightness of the foreground color over the brush stroke. The purity slider allows you to set the saturation of the color. The scaling is from negative 100 to 100 in this slider. At negative 100 the color is fully desaturated and at 100 the color is fully saturated. So we'll increase that to, oh, let's say 50%. Then when you're done, you can begin to paint and you'll see what that's done to the color of your brush stroke. So you can go in and play with those settings and change them to your liking. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.